So hello, um, I'm Jakob Miksch. I will present you a little tool that I developed to create random geodata. Uh, you can find some places in the internet where you find information about me. I work for a company uh, doing a broadband internet planning and for this I developed software and I needed some sample data and I created it manually in QGIS so I decided it's maybe easier to have a tool for that. So um, I wanted to have it uh, quite simple, it should be interactive so I could cho choose a, a diff uh, like a region which I want. It should be um, uh, should not have like a server because I don't uh, have a server. I just have a, a little, uh, uh, just a normal web server where you can put the JavaScript uh, HTML website on it. And uh, yeah, it's of course open source. You can find it on the link here. And yeah, so my ingredients were I uh, use Vue.js and open layers and also a little library that I wrote that uh, connects both of them. I will have a lightning talk about this tomorrow as well. And my first try um, was to create a little open layers map where I could just draw a rectangle then it would create some uh, points and you can export it uh, as a GeoJSON or a shapefile using the shape write library. But um, the creating of the shapefile was a bit strange and I wanted to have more coordinate systems so I thought about using uh, Proj uh, for GIS and also create some more formats uh, using client-side JavaScript libraries but I found this quite complicated so I searched a bit and I found out there's actually from GDAL there's a WebAssembly uh, version so pretty much it's like GDAL is compiled in a way that you can execute it client-side on the browser and it's quite cool because uh, you have access to exporting like pretty much most of the formats the normal GDAL can handle. For example, what I need most was GeoPackage, for example, Postgres dump even, or flat GeoBuff. And also it can do uh, the projection. So um, I can choose any projection I want. And also for in my case, I needed a UTM. And yeah, so this is uh, how it looks like. Now I try to show you if it works. So it's uh, basically you have a web map and you can select a rectangle, then it will create 100 points in this area and then you can uh, choose uh, your format what you'd like to download and also you can choose UTM and it will automatically um, search for the specific uh, UTM zone and uh, use the respective uh, um, EPSG code and then you can download it and uh, yeah, so then you have a flat GeoBuff that you can instantly open up in your QGIS. And yeah, so it's quite fast and uh, useful for my use case. So if anyone else has a different use case, you can, you're open to, uh, or invited to create a um, merge request. And I also have uh, some future ideas. So I would like to make a loading indicator for downloading then um, currently I'm only uh, creating uh, 100 points, so I would like to also edit this number, so if you want to have 10,000 or 10 only. And I currently don't create any attributes, and I discovered there's a JavaScript library called Faker, so it creates a lot of uh, fake data about really anything you can imagine, like customer names or email addresses whatsoever. Um, and I would like to incorporate this, then also add some more file formats, and um, also uh, maybe make it as a progressive web app and use a an base map that can also be stored inside the uh, w uh, like the progressive web app so you don't have to m have too much uh, uh, connections to any server and yeah so maybe you want to try it so thanks for your attention